All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? Um, so I accidentally missed uh, patch 14.13, so we're just gonna, or point, uh, 11 rather, and uh, we're just gonna kind of skip over that. So yeah, uh, if you guys want to see us go back and do that, just let us know, but um, I don't think it's gonna be too important. I think we got like kind of the highlights and obviously other people have covered the 14.11 notes. But either way, uh, we're back with Drew once again. What's up, Drew? What's up? Yeah, that patch, not important, as it turns out. It's fine. <laughs> totally fine. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, we're back in 14.12 now, and uh, we got the Faker stuff out, Ari skin, we got the Hall, Hall of uh, Legends, right? Or is it Hall of Valor? Hall of Legends, right? Hall of Legends. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why I'm thinking Hall of Valor, but yeah. Um, that also sounds cool, though. It so. does. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, let's jump into it. Obviously, check out all the cool stuff with the pass and stuff going on if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, the, this released I think three or f two or three days ago, maybe or something like that. I can't remember. But um, yeah. I was, yeah, yeah, I was a little busy, but uh, we're here now. So yeah. Um, all right, patch highlights. Obviously, you got the the overview here. We got the skins coming out and everything, and uh, the Zera skin as well. Let's go. Um, yeah, I feel bad he's just, like, thrown in there with all the <laughs> Faker stuff. Right, right. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Hall of, Fa Hall of Legends stuff, the Faker stuff, pretty cool. Um, definitely check it out. So, apparently, the skin isn't $500, so uh, I think the, the max one where you get a bunch of other stuff plus the skin is, I think, 430 or 250 or something like that. Yeah. Um, so, it's, it is a lot, but, um, yeah, it's not too bad. And then there's, like, a medium-level skin where it has pretty much everything of Ari, just not, not a lot of the faker stuff. Um, still some of it, but not all of it. Um, and that one's like 230 or 245 or something like that, I think. Something like yep. that, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyways, um, what is, do you know what ME server is? Where is that? Um, opens its doors on June 25th. ME. For one blue essence? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what it means. I might have to research that. <laughs> I'm assuming this is like a new region. I just don't know where. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, obviously, you can transfer over there for one blue essence if you live there or whatever, and it'll be, it'll be, be a little bit better for your server and ping and stuff. But yeah, let's jump into champions. Should You, you want to start us off? Middle East server. Oh, okay. That makes sense, I guess. There you go. So if you're in North America, probably don't transfer because your opinion yeah, will be bad. Seems yeah. like a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I could start. Sorry, I had to look it up. It was going to bother me. No, you're good. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can start with Aatrox. What are they? What are they doing to Aatrox? Um, they are cutting into his health regen and giving him a bit more armor, though. I guess and so kind of like rebalancing some of his base stats. Mm -hmm. um, his healing is probably a nerf. Roll dash. So healing is a flat sixteen, um, which is lower than any rank at any point uh, previously. Yeah. But it does have plus point nine percent bonus health. So. I would have to see the math to know like when it if it ever gets you know what I mean like better than twenty four percent flat. I mean I think it um, does, but, I... but it depends. You can't build lethality basically anymore, right? To if you want to yeah. have that yeah, healing. Yeah. So yep. you're gonna be having stacking at least some bruiser items, if not um, like HP items, just straight up. Yep. And then the healing is no longer increased during World Ender, so that feels like a pretty big nerf. Oh, wow. um, yeah. You're definitely gonna need to build. Stay away from the lethality build now. Um, it's but okay, it's broken anyway. <laughs> yeah, it is broken. And then uh, they did just give World Ender like a buff instead to, I guess, compensate. So now World Ender just gives you 50, 75, 100% healing instead of 25, 35, 45. So that's a pretty big buff. Um, it's kind of because it doesn't get the heal off of E anymore. So um, overall, he's just going to be fine. But yeah. I do think um, it. it is to get rid of the more damage focus builds probably with the lethality and all that yeah for sure i think uh overall good good direction for sure i, I don't like him being as like one shotty and also um more Never stuff dying. going like yeah like yeah. more stuff being built into his r that's only like a little bit of time instead of like all the time you just have yeah crazy yeah, feeling, yeah, so. 
Agree, agree. I think this is definitely good. Uh, Alright. Maybe this is too much, though. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Time uh, will tell. Time will tell. A call we uh, E sure can flip. Uh, so total damage on this is going down a little bit on the flat side. So it was 100 to 450 based on rank, and now it's 70 to 350. So about 100 off late and 30 off early. And then we have a little bit more scaling um, on the AD. So it was 85% total AD, now it's 100% total AD scaling. So that will that'll make up for at least a little bit of it. Um, and then it is going down by 10% on the AP scaling as well, though. But, I mean, it has two different types of scaling, plus flat damage. That's so still pretty yeah, flat damage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it says the no, the first hit of Kali's Shuriken Flip deals 30% of the ability's total damage, and the second hit deals the remaining 70%. Okay, so the, the first per part is not as much damage, of course, but the second activation is going to do a lot more damage. Um, or debatable, I guess, but it is going to do most of the damage for the ability, at least. <laughs> Uh, true, 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 true. Any thoughts on this one? Mm, no, I think uh, I think I agree with you. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's gonna make it like, broken, like not playable. I think it's. I yeah, think it's probably still fun. That should be good. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Akshan. Uh, they did nerf him previously, so I guess they felt like he wasn't nerfed enough. Um, Okay. Stronger due to new Kraken Slayer. Okay, so let's see. So passive, um, the damage is now gated every, it looks like every kind of like five levels instead of just like scaling all the way every level up. Mm. Um, okay. And I think it is, yeah, it's just overall nerfed to later because it, it's uh, capped at 150 instead of 165, so um and that'll be that and then heroic swing is also a bit of a nerf um looks like it's losing 10 damage per rank plus a little bit of bonus 80 percent is coming off of it as well um oh, wow. so okay. yeah i don't i don't i haven't seen like Akshan's running away with games recently but maybe i guess they feel like he's still too strong with like kraken slayer and some of the new items must be yeah, I think feel he's, I feel like he's a little bit more niche, but um, yeah. I guess he seems to be pre doing pretty well somewhere. Um, I, I don't know if this is probably just a typo, but it looks like they even took the AP scaling off completely. I don't know if it's probably yeah, just a typo. Yeah, I think but... it's probably a typo, because if they did, then it's uh, it's like even a bigger nerf. Yeah, it's pretty pretty it's like large, pretty but nerf. at the same time, I guess he doesn't really build that much AP either, unless it's going maybe Ginsu's or, or something like that, right? So Yeah, uh, true, true, true. But yeah, definitely uh, some nerfs for him. All right, uh, next up we got Ash. So passive frost shot damage against turrets with frost. Oh, wait, what? This is a thing. Hold on, hold on. I didn't even know this existed. What? Okay, so it says it was 120% plus critical strike chance uh, times critical strike damage, and then now it is 150%. Uh, so down by 5% um, on the flat amount i didn't even know you could de deal more dealt more damage to turrets with frost i didn't even know you could apply turrets frost turret, frost onto turrets what <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that either to be to be honest but that's crazy okay okay, but okay so nerfs nerfs for ash that does kind of suck but i guess i didn't really notice before so maybe it shouldn't matter too much but <laughs> i right. wonder what it did like did it slow the tower down like, no i think it just did it, it just a little 20 more, more damage yeah. but like that would actually have been crazy, like if it slowed the. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I never noticed it though, so I guess uh, I the guess it's speed. fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, crazy. All right, Blitzcrank. Um, Blitzcrank. <laughs> I feel like primarily he was like popping up in some pro games in MSI, but I don't see him too much in normal games. But yeah. um, he is losing fifty health base. Which okay. will hurt. It'll make him a little bit easier to kind of poke out in lane. Yeah, but and then attack. mana barrier, mana barrier duration up to ten seconds. Hey, let's go! It's back. Which, that's what it was before. Yeah, that's what it was before. Nice. So, um, right. so he'll have that mana barrier for longer, but also uh, he'll have less health. So they're just seeing if that that feels more balanced, I guess. Okay. 
Yes, I guess they're trying to nerf him a little bit more. Um, but yeah, the, having the passive back to 10 seconds, I think, is pretty nice overall. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's good. It's pretty it's decent. Good it's about an auto attack, roughly, um, in early game at least. All right. Um, okay, and Corky is up next. So, uh, actually, have not even had a chance to touch him uh, since he got updated. But I hear he's pretty strong overall. Um, confirm. Can s- confirm. Some people say he's really broken, and then other people I don't know, think are like fine. I guess maybe. But all right, uh, base stats. So base attack damage down, going down by three actually. So 55 to 52. Attack speed growth was is going up by 0.5%, so it was 2.3, now it's 2.8% per level. And then Q, Phosphorus Bomb, the magic damage is going up a little bit later. So first level's the same, uh, second level's up by 5, then 10, then, thir- then 15, then 20. Um, and then the AP scaling is going up by 30% as well on his Q, and then the cooldown was 9 to 7 seconds based on rank, now it's 8 to 6 seconds, so you got pretty much a whole second off um, every level. So that's pretty nice, actually. Um, I mean, straight up buff, right? I would say? Yeah, yeah, I know, it seems that way. Everywhere? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, Okay. And then Gatling Gun is probably where the nerfs are going to happen, so uh, we have uh, physical damage, um, was 100 to 300 flat, and now it's 100 to 280. So only 20 damage off at late of the total damage. So I, no, honestly, that's practically nothing. Um, and then armor slash MR shred cap was 12 to 24. Now it's 12 to 20 based on level. Um, I mean, it's something, but yeah. it's not terrible, really. And level one, it's nothing. Um, so okay, mana cost uh, was fifty to seventy. Now it's fifty to ninety. So yep, there we go. Got a twenty more mana uh, at max rank. Uh, but rank one, it's nothing, and rank two, it's only five. So it's really nothing crazy until you're maxing this out. I'm not sure what you max on him nowadays. It used to be Q, but it looks like maybe some people were maxing E with lethality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think yeah for lane people have been maxing E. I've seen. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Very interesting. Um, all right. Uh, honestly, not that terrible. What do you think about this? Um, it's, it's rough, but... I, I, I know I know what they're doing. Because basically what he's doing in lane is he's, like, lethality maxing E. Mm-hmm. And just, uh, like, Valkyrieing forward with E rolling and just, like, 100 to 0 in you. Um, so I think they're trying to take that away. I don't know if what they did will actually accomplish that, but I think he's still going to be like pretty strong. I don't think. Nice, yeah. I, I don't think this is going to like make him not not super strong. I agree. I think this is probably all fine, honestly. But um, definitely a little bit of a hit. I could would say, just nothing, yeah. nothing crazy, honestly. Uh, all right, and then Ezri. Oh, sorry, that's you. <laughs> Yes, uh, Ezreal. So Ezreal did get some, I uh, did get some buffs. Um, they upped his attack growth um, by a little bit. Okay. So now it's point two seven five per level, and then they put um, a bit more power into the AD scaling for his Mystic Shock or Mystic Shot uh, by ten percent. So it does one hundred forty percent total AD now. Okay. And then True Shot Barrage. Um, is just getting a flat damage buff of 25, 50, and then 75, I think. Yep. So, um, yeah, just across the board. I, True Shot Barrage, that, that's not like the... I mean, it'll be nice to do a bit more damage, but I think that you throw a lot of Qs out in lane. So I think the 10% AD buff on Mystic Shot is pretty nice um, yeah it'll just it'll 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 help him a bit in the waiting phase because he he tends to throw a bunch of cues out so uh yeah that's, that's a nice, the nice biggest buff. the biggest buff there for sure yeah 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 all right cool all right uh yeah i think probably fine overall he did lose his like sheen his essence reaver sheen and i guess yep, go yep, yep, yep. stuff still but uh yeah i think it's fine um all right karma so uh actually you want to you want to hit this one yeah i can do karma i've been testing this out quite a bit uh since the patch so 
uh, Karma, they, they're trying to buff her support without her showing up mid and top. Okay. So what they did was uh, put some flat... Uh, a bit like flat power back into her shield, her E. Okay. So after rank one, it's going up by five, ten, uh, fifteen, and then twenty. Okay. And then you get two seconds of movement speed instead of one point five. Um, and then the defiance bonus shield, um, which is when you uh, uh, cast it with like your your R. So it's like your R cast. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, it is same thing like later ranks are getting 10 20 30 uh flat value they okay. increased and then the two percent speed also um applies to the the mantra shield so wow it, it's pretty good what what it's what i've noticed is i used to uh, like put a lot more points in the queue and this is getting me to put like rank up e first um okay nice. it's, it's felt it's, it's felt pretty good um so she she's really really strong right now if if you are a support player who has played karma before i definitely would pick her back up um the other the other buff that they gave i think a couple patches ago they made it so um when you cast the the mantra shield it puts the full value on everybody in range. It used oh, to put yeah. the full value on the primary target and then like a, a way less value on everybody else. Now it's like full value to everybody. So that plus this, she's like, she's really, really good. That's um, true. Yeah, that's that's pretty big. Yeah. So I think she's like OP, like, like the secret OP from this patch, in my opinion. So okay. definitely plays Karma. Yeah, definitely. Nice, play nice, nice. Yeah, Karma. it looks really good for her, actually. <clears throat> and then I, li I like the movement speed going up as well. I yeah. mean, I don't like it because I'm gonna have to play against it. But um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, like if you if you okay. get that plus like uh, Shirelia's, your team is <laughs> zooming. Let me tell you. I don't even talk about that. Zooming. I for... <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> That's the combo right there. All right. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> moving on. We got Master Yi up next. Um, bonus damage to monsters on his Q going down by ten every rank. Um, nothing crazy, but definitely, um, definitely a little bit of a slower clear, I guess, for him overall. Um, w meditate initial damage reduction is now 70% instead of 90%. Of course, that that drops off like every over like a half second, I think, to a much lower amount. But that's the initial one, and then cooldown is going from nine to ten seconds, so an extra second on that as well. So just a bit of nerfs to him. Um, said he, they overshot Master Yi's buffs last patch, um, so I guess he got some buffs last patch. Uh, we may never know. <laughs> uh, we may yeah. never know, yeah. I, I haven't <laughs> seen a lot of Master Yi, so I'll, yeah. uh, I'll have to take their word for it. Yeah, fair, fair. I've been thinking about it a little bit, but I don't know. I don't think it's it's good enough. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's see. No. Fury. I haven't seen that. Speaking of people I haven't seen in a while, Fury. <laughs> um, what are they doing here? So, Packmate attack damage, the passive, um, is going up. It's actually a pretty big buff early. It's almost double. So, it's going from 6 to 30 to 12 to 32. So, a lot of attack damage early. It's nice. like double, which is pretty nice. Um, Darking Daggers or Q. Um, they are... What are they doing? This The range is the same versus minions and non-epic monsters. Which I think is... the same? Basically? Oh, non-epic instead of medium and large. Medium, large, mod. I'm trying to think if that, like, why... Like, what would it widen it to? So it used to have the execute damage versus minions and medium large monsters now it has the execute damage to minions and non-epic monsters yes oh maybe um crab yeah and, uh, maybe the tiny krugs or something i'm not sure yeah yeah i'm sure there's like a like yeah i, I don't know the classifications well enough for jungle but i'm sure that will help Definitely. a bit <laughs> um you see this one's good too it'll do the bleed the heal from the bleed uh on oh, okay and large and epic monsters that's that's just nice and then the cooldown is down by two seconds so oh, wow. early um so she it's, it's definitely all these buffs tell me they're trying to make her 
uh, a little bit stronger early, um, and probably yeah. specifically in Certainly. the jungle. I think. Yeah. Okay. It feels like they're trying to make her a jungler based on some of this. That's pretty big. Two seconds yeah. off your Q. Okay. Yeah. All right, and then uh, I I don't actually know what a pack made attack damage means. Like, if you have pack, I think, like... it, I, I think it's their like little. I think it's their little dogs. Like how much they do when they. Attack. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought it was like if she has pack mates around her, she has bonus AD. Okay, got it. No, I think it's like how much the little dogs like hit for. I I think. I'm yep, not sure. that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, and it is a tiny. Which which that's what I'm saying. If it's doubled here. and she has like a bunch of them out, that that actually could be pretty pretty true good yeah. buff early yeah so um okay. interesting very jungle all right yeah. yeah okay uh nyla so we got base stats health regen going from four to six so a little bit more there and then armor growth uh 4.2 to 4.5 so just a little bit of buffs there um yeah nothing super no, crazy true. honestly but definitely nice for her no. Making her a little bit less crazy. squishy. Uh, yeah. Okay. Rek'Sai is... I think in a pretty good spot right now. They are decreasing the bonus attack speed by 10% on her Q. And the Unburrow is losing quite a bit of flat damage. It looks like 20 at every rank. Um, oh, wow. So they're they're removing a good chunk of damage and her ability to attack faster. So um, these are these are pretty decent nerfs. So I don't yeah I don't know if it like makes her unplayable or anything, but is I think you will definitely notice it. Yeah, I don't think so, but yeah, it's definitely noticeable for sure. Okay, nothing super crazy, but I think definitely definitely a little bit rough for her. <laughs> this champion is busted, by the way. I hope they. Did something crazy to me. <laughs> All right, Skarner, uh, base health, 650 to 610, so down by 40. Health growth was 102, now it's 105, so you get that back, actually, fairly fast. Um, and then passive threads of vibration, uh, quake magic damage, so it was 7 to 10% based on level of the target's maximum health, and then now it's 5 to 11% based on level of the target's maximum health, so just less by two percent early and then more by one percent that max level which is 18 which is not really gonna happen too often but yeah yeah okay um i'm cool Great. with it it's good it's fine yeah yep. what do you think more nerfs more nerfs <laughs> not enough <laughs> not enough no okay no, fair no, enough no. yeah but good start good start <laughs> yeah definitely <laughs> definitely uh Talon. Um, I don't remember the last time I've seen a Talon either. Let's see. <laughs> Noxian Diplomacy. You cast time nail scales with attack speed. That's that's kind of nice. So he'll be able to pop the Q a lot quicker uh, as he gets more attack speed. And then W. Jungle Modifier is down by 5% to a flat 100. And then the outgoing damage is buffed by 10 at each rank. Um, so I think, okay. yeah, I don't, I'm trying to say, I, I think it's just, uh, they're just buffing him. Just they they buff, feel like yeah. he's a little weak now, not like specifically jungle or mid or anything. They're just like all around buff, I think. Yeah. 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 Nothing crazy, but definitely, definitely nice little touches there. Almost like quality of life, I'd say. Yeah. 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 Definitely. All right. Cool. Um, Trendomir. So apparently he got gutted a little bit. I don't, I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, Q Bloodlust. So bonus attack damage just flat from the passive, I think, is uh, 10, was 10 to 30 based on rank. Now it's 5 to 25. So just 5 off at every rank, which is not yep. that crazy in my opinion, but people are going crazy about that. Uh, and then E Spinning Slash uh, physical damage was 80 to 200 and now it is 75 to 195 so it's only five damage flat off each rank which is kind of nothing uh honestly <laughs> yeah i think there's a whole lot of nothing burger honestly to use my yeah i don't see i don't <laughs> see much here to get mad about 
Um, I, I, I mean, it's it's decent size, don't get me wrong, but like, it's not that big of a deal, really, I would say. He already starts yeah. at pretty high AD, um, so I don't think it's going to be a big deal, honestly. But yeah, definitely hurting him a little bit, for sure. Okay. Uh, Twisted Fate. Let's go. Um, let's see what they're doing to him this time. Uh, attack damage is down. His growth up to two and a half. Uh, used to be 3.3. Um, wild card magic damage is the scaling is getting slight, slight, slight nerf by 5% AP scaling. Okay. Um, so not really the end of the world. It's fine. And then, uh, yeah, pick a card is getting more mana restoration early. Um, which is always nice. So he'll restore 70 mana on a blue card throw uh, that previously gave him 50. So and then so it's like an early buff because by late game it's the same. So like he's getting 70, 90, 110 instead of 50, 75, 100. So those first two first two ranks are, are quite nice. So yeah, for sure. Yeah, he'll just be totally fine and the same. He'll just have a bit more mana, and I don't think the wild card. 5% nerf is really a big deal. Unless it does some kind of like thresholds for like clearing waves one shot. Uh, Maybe, which it might, yeah. But I, I don't think it's really going to matter. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, the mana cost does go up a little bit here, but it's mostly early. And you're, I think you're, well, I guess sometimes you're maxing Q. I was going to say, I think you're maxing W, but maybe not. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think this is fine overall. Uh, yeah, I think it's fine. Enough. Definitely a little bit of nerf, for sure. A little, a little bit. A little bit. All right. Victor. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Uh, <laughs> Q siphon power discharge. Victor's Q empowered auto attack now applies to tower. So, yeah, that's really nice, actually. I like this. Yep. Uh, pretty cool. See the, you, you see, yeah, Arcane. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> yep. Arcane coming later this year. Okay, yeah, this is nice for sure. Um, I always thought it was kind of weird that it didn't, honestly. It felt a little odd. You could just like keep zapping yeah. the tower over and over until it runs out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it did feel a bit weird. All right. A Vlad buff. Uh-oh. It looks like has been relatively weak across the board. All right. Well, his W, which is his most annoying ability... <laughs> um, where he turns into a puddle of blood, uh, it will cost him five percent less health, so down to fifteen percent. Uh, the healing is up to thirty, so they doubled the healing on it. And then the scaling bonus health ratio is up five percent bonus health. Um, it is definitely a good buff. Uh, the healing is nice. It costs less health. He gets more health back. Um, yeah, no, this is good. This is good buffs for him if you're a Vlad player. But I feel like you have to be careful with Vlad because if you overdo it, he ends up just being like out of control. Yeah, this is seems like a lot to give him, but okay. Uh... Yeah, it's, I feel like it's gonna make it really like he's gonna have a ton of sustain. Not that he doesn't already, but I, I just I feel like he'll be able to just stay in lane forever with these changes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Um, okay. It does say pre mitigation damage, so it's actually even more, right? Then? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. And I think, I think my brain doesn't work. What is what's the bonus health ratio? Is that bonus for the healing or for the damage ratio? Or something is the. I think it's the damage. Yeah, I don't know. It looks kind of weird. Yeah, it's worded weird, sure. but I think it's the damage that the okay. ability does. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. That, I think, makes sense then. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Anyways. <laughs> uh, Yone, he's got his base stats getting a little change here. Base armor is going up by three, so apparently he's having more tough times because they were in lethal tempo, I guess. Um. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, kind of rough, but I think it's okay. Maybe 
I don't know, armor is the best place to give him something, but it is what it is. It's something. It's definitely something. <laughs> Yumi. I did try a Yumi game recently. Okay, um, okay, okay. Let's see. So they gave a flat 10 seconds at all ranks on the on the E shield, um, which is nice. You used to have to max it out to get to 10. So now it's, you just, it's 10 from the get-go. 10 seconds. Um okay. And they gave more healing, like 10 more healing on the R at every rank, but it's per, um, like per wave, basically. Okay. So it ends up being a good, good, good chunk of healing, uh, increase since it's per wave. So, um, she, she felt pretty good. I did play with a Zeri, so I feel like Yumi always feels good with Zeri. <laughs> right. Um, I haven't tried her out with like other eighty carries, but um, it felt it felt pretty good. Okay, yeah, it did seem fine. I don't think it's broken or anything. No, I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, items. Lord Dom's regard. This looks like the recipe is changing a little bit different. So we're gonna have Last Whisper with plus Noon Quiver instead of Cloak of Agility, and that's gonna make the combined cost a little bit cheaper. Well, a lot cheaper actually. Okay. And the nice. Noon Quiver. Oh, go ahead, sorry. What are you doing to Noon Quiver? Just, it's losing five attack damage. And it's Unlucky. gonna be Longsword, Longsword, Cloak of Agility, instead of Longsword, Cloak of Agility, a bunch of gold. So, uh, total costs unchanged, but it is losing five attack damage, so. Okay. okay, nice. I mean, not nice, but unlucky. <laughs> yeah. Feels bad. Uh, Scout's clean shot. Got an item recipe change once again. So two daggers instead of one, and then plus 200 gold means 800 total. Oh, wait, it's getting 100 cheaper, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, nice. Um, and then rapid fire cannon. Note is in the Runin's Hurricane and Stack Shifts. Total gold, gold, gold costs are unchanged. Okay. I uh, oh, I do think I do think it did need to be cheaper. I, I I don't. All I know is when someone comes the lane that I'm going against, and they just have that slingshot item, it feels like it does nothing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, that's I'm, fair. I'm, like, I'm like, it just feels like it does nothing for them. So I do think it is a bit weak. Um, so if it's cheaper, that's that's probably good. Yeah, I'd say so as well. All right. Uh. Static Shiv, uh, looks like the item recipe is just getting slightly changed, the total cost is unchanged, uh, gets an extra pickaxe, and the combined cost is a bit cheaper. Yeah, not too crazy. Nope. This is nice, 10 ability power on Void Staff. Yeah, let's go. Um, let's get no like increase in gold, so yeah, let's just get 10 more, that's, that's always nice. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude, that's the best. All right, Surreal Disc Grudge, passive, Rancor bonus armor penetration. So uh, 20% plus that amount. Yep. Uh, yep. So now the, the passive, the, or the the base amount is 25% instead of 20%. So extra 5% armor penetration, which is percentage, of course. So pretty decent amount. Yeah, not bad. Not pretty bad. good. All right. And so one, only one rune change. Um, <laughs> I actually have been running for strike on Seraphine a bunch. Um, oh, nice. It feels pretty good, but they are uh, nerfing it because I guess I'm not allowed to have fun. So <laughs> they're taking five gold and the damage shaft out. Uh, Damn. Yeah. Wow. That's... Well, it, was, okay. it was fun while it lasted. I, I think I will probably switch back to Airy or Comet. Uh, <laughs> All these changes but That's it was fun sad. while it lasted yeah yeah it started off at like nine percent right so it's just it's yeah just yeah that's dumb i don't know i, I will say i know why they're nerfing it because they'll like i've been playing a lot of um i'll run it on seraphine and then my 80 carry will be like a varus or a sivir and they'll take first strike and the the like combo of like both our cues plus both our first strikes going off is kind of not fair so i do i do get why they're doing it because it, yeah. it was just like a lot it was a lot of damage if you pulled that that combo off but um yeah that's that's a pretty big nerf i feel like yeah that's, that's rough this is isn't the damage up until the end of combat right or 
It is, yeah, yeah. So it, it rolls like until you, yeah, if you proc it, it stays until combat's over. Yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah. Okay. I don't know. That's rough though. Yeah. All right. Uh, <clears throat> they are changing a bunch of recommended runes. It looks like so. Yone, so oh, Seraphine. <laughs> yeah. See, see, first strike sorcery. That's that's what I've been going. I've been going first strike. Does that mean I'm supposed to do that? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's an option of the three, I guess. Okay. Why okay. is uh, yeah. why is um, uh, what's the shield one? The shield tank rune. Oh, uh, guardian. Yeah. Why is that not in here? Come on. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, all right. Update the stash shards to ability haste plus adaptive force plus flat HP. Okay. Draven, Talon, no, we worried about this, honestly. Um, Karma, Zed, LeBlanc, Katarina, Zoe, Gangplank. Okay, there you go. Good job. Uh, feel free to pause if you want to read any of that. <laughs> or check them out yourself. Uh, arena changes. We got system changes. All players receive bands, so you got double the bands, I guess, then. That's cool. Uh, interesting. Okay, uh, bands are blind across teams. <clears throat> so you can have duplicate bands. Band reveal phase has been removed, obviously. Uh, pick timer is a little bit fat, a little bit longer. Band display UI updated to account for the additional bands. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I already saw that. I actually played I, it uh, today. So. <laughs> I did hear, um, I'll drop this nugget. If you're an arena fan, they were saying in, I think they were saying in their dev video or maybe the, one of their dev updates that it's been doing um, really well. From like a player base nice um because normally when they do like a game mode it's like spikes and then like people stop playing it and that's why they rotate them is because they normally fall off a lot but they said arena has been like very very consistent this time around um nice so if if you want arena to stay forever uh just keep playing that that's that's the secret <laughs> yeah okay cool uh, lots of stuff here. Obviously, pause if you want to read and stuff. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyways, pretty cool. All the different yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. My goodness, this would take a while if we went through all that. We have uh, to do a separate <laughs> arena patch notes. Honestly. I guess so. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, ARAM changes. Uh, and he's in stuff? No. Okay, we're good then. Uh, <laughs> ARAM clash is uh, this weekend, though. True, true. Definitely get in that if you can and are able to, for sure. Um, actually, it's, wait, it's tonight, right? Yeah. Tonight and tomorrow, as depending on recording. you're watching okay. this video. Yeah, yep, yeah, as of recording. Okay. Uh, it should should go out today, so it should be this this today. But anyways, yeah. Uh, Champion Mastery. We've seen player feedback about the bonus milestone. If for Champion Mastery being too difficult, so we're lowering, requirements, lowering the requirements. Now the bonus milestone will only require three S-grade games instead of seven. Okay, yeah, that's really nice. Good. Uh, oh, also and... they're redoing the visuals. Yes, on... I heard about that. Yeah. Sweet. So That's good. Yes. Uh, all right, and then Mythic Trap Rotation. Got some stuff here. So this stuff is leaving, so if you want to grab that, uh, do it now before, you, before it's gone. Um, got some stuff coming in, obviously. And then bug fix fixes and quality of life changes. Um, going forward, we'll be using a different icon to signal these. Okay. All right, bug fixes. Definitely pause to read it if any of that's uh, important. It might be. Obviously, you have the Ari skins, the faker events, um, all that Ooh. stuff. So get in some games for sure. And then... Uh, Let's uh let's see what happened over here. Nerfs patch that never happened. Oh, this was the Nami buff patch. Yeah, Nami got buff. That was this patch. There oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> there you go. This bumps outdated. They're in arena now. I was wondering why they weren't. I was like, what the heck? It's not working. And Essence Emporium opened up based on uh Nice, nice. This patch. So it's it's up right now, obviously, but yeah, it, uh, there's some good chromas and stuff you can get. Let's go. With your blue essence. Solo do a ranked Middle East. Oh, there you go. They they announced it yeah, last time. That's yep, yep, okay. Yep. <laughs> uh, systems. Whoa. Okay. Okay. That was to get rid of lane swaps. Yep. 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 Okay. Have enough of that. Wow. Oh, nice. That's good. Uh, Caitlin. 
All right, well, I guess I'm going to have to go through this on my own because it's going to take way too long if we did this. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, it's been fun. Um, we'll go ahead and catch you in patch 14.13, and then, uh, yeah, I think I think we're good to go. Any final thoughts, Drew? No, enjoy. Uh, LCS starts today, so yes. if you're watching it, enjoy. Definitely best of three, it, please. So. Definitely, yeah. We If you want best of threes to stay, you uh we need to we need Gotta to show pump up. up the viewership. So, <laughs> exactly. All right. Catch you guys later. Peace.